Have you ever wondered what would have happened if you had made a different decision in the past? It's a very unique way to present a well-known concept. For sure, probably one of the best sets I've ever had. Energy. Energy is more than a simple sci-fi story. It explores the theory of multiverse as never seen before, in a fresh way, um, presenting us the time and space as an illusion. The fact that the concept of multiverse is nothing more but a theory gives us a lot of room to develop and really go outside the box in regards to non-linear storytelling. It's, you know, it's like a wave, some, something that you do and someone out there receive it. And uh, for me, it's, it's amazing and uh, it's the future of, of the ideas and how we, we can offer something to, to society. The concept of multiverse always fascinated me since I was a kid. So when Energy was born and Alan presented me the concept, I knew I want to be a part of this. The short film is a proof of concept to a much broader idea. It's a mix of sci-fi and action, drama and spy movies. Você não entenderia? Sorry, but my Portuguese is not so good. Well, brother. In this world, It is. We made this short film in about one month and a half with just a crew of friends and a micro budget, basically. The preparation for my character was really intense. She's definitely different from anything that I've ever played, but she's also a dream coming true. I grew up loving survival and action movies. Kevin and his other self are, despite identical, completely different. But the only thing that really defers them is a single choice in the past. In our first rehearsal, Alan came to me and Roberto and gave each of us a backpack. And he said, you're gonna go camping on the top of the mountain where this story takes place. And the best part, I'll go with you. <laughs> he literally came with us on this crazy adventure. He was always involved. It was like he was a character too. It's always special to work with Alan. He's a really passionate professional and makes you feel comfortable on set. It was the, the most beautiful moment that we shared because here we are with the stars and I think the location is one of the triumphs of the movie. And uh, it looks like a little bit with California, but we made it here in Brazil with a very low budget. We had a lot of rehearsals to develop the relationship and connection between the characters and even the actors. All the background stories were created by us, actors, during improvisation sessions that Alan had made for us. I knew this would be a hard process as we had only one month to prepare. We have multiple characters in this journey and each one of them has a personal goal, so there's a real emotional weight behind everything. Rob really wants to find the cure for the virus, so when he finds out that a mysterious plant just might be it, he quickly jumps into the opportunity without thinking of the consequences. My character was born and raised in the forest. She knows people, but... She never met anyone outside her world. So she has a very specific way to behave. We shot the whole thing in one day. It was just one afternoon. And after that, we have two weeks of post-production. 
And of course, this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the cast and the crew that I chose. They really worked hard to make this happen. Well, yeah, um, hiking up a mountain in a full suit wasn't the best thing in the world, but, um, you know, when we got there, it was really gorgeous. And, you know, just the nature and the vegetation, the trees, it was, it was really something. Yes, it was, it was amazing because we have this deep connection with nature. And without trying to control it, just stay in balance with it. So it was really beautiful and we have a lot of fun because when you work with Alan Higgs, you know, it's always fun. I had a lot of inspirations and different references to create this idea, but I wanted to present something fresh to the audience. Um, something fresh in a theory that everyone knew, with something that we know very little about, which is not some technology from the future or something that uh, has been explored before in other films or stories, is uh, with something that we use every day, but we know very little. Our mind, the, the very deep parts of our mind and how to use our mind to get to different places maybe. Not only does it tackle the theory of the multiverse, but it develops it in a way that these multiverses could be interacted with. And that's just what the film's about, interaction. The hardest part of the short film was putting the whole idea and the concept in four minutes because we have a lot of different other concepts that uh, goes alongside with the main one of the multiverse. So we had to really pay attention to all the details, all the lines, all the actions, all the scenes had to present something different to the audience and just make them come up with different questions in every single frame of the film. And I think the result was very good because at the end, you, you just want to see more. You just want more of this universe and all the universes. <laughs> I couldn't do another work because for me, it's, it's like going to, it's paradise for me. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to see what's next step for energy. And of course, uh, to work with the crew and the cast again. <laughs>